Hey guys, we got a nice day out here. We're gonna take the DC-6 up for another flight. The majority of the wiring harness is attached to the wing. So you just feed that through the fuselage and then add these three screws to attach the wing to the fuselage. I'm using three bladed props for this airplane. So when I'm transporting it, I do take the props and the cowlings off uh, to make it easier to transport in the car. Uh, if you do use two bladed props, it'll be a little easier because they'll sit flat with the wing. Now we can set the CG. The CG is really easy on this airplane. It's right on the spar, so we just turn it upside down and check to make sure it's centered, and we can move the battery forward or aft to set the CG. There was a couple questions that we get asked a lot about, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover a couple of those. First thing is people have been talking about the weight a little bit. This weighs about 3,450 grams ready to fly, which is pretty good for this size of airplane, but if you do want to print this out at lightweight PLA, it is uh, designed with uh, minimum retraction, so you, you can print lightweight PLA with this no problem. I did print the front section of this out of lightweight PLA, uh, so this is this portion I printed out of lightweight PLA just to test some of the parts out. You can see the quality is really nice quality. Uh, some of the weight is a fixed wing, which is like the motors, the props, the batteries, all electronics. So you're only gonna save on the 3D printed weight. The disadvantage to printing a lightweight PLA is it's not quite as strong as the regular PLA. So like on the fuselage and stuff, you know, it, it's got, it's pretty strong all the way through here, but then with the lightweight PLA, it's, it's not quite as strong. So when you're when you're moving the airplane from your house to the airfield and all this other stuff, you gotta be a little bit more careful with it. Uh, so that's one disadvantage to the lightweight PLA. Uh, but if you wanna save some weight, you can print it out a lightweight PLA if you want to. So another question I get asked a lot about is a spar. I did not put a spar in there and that's on purpose because it's a little hard to find spars, carbon fiber spars sometimes. So I just 3D printed a solid strip of plastic through the wing that is very, very strong. The spar is actually right here, this thick piece of plastic and it runs all the way down the length of the wing. So this is the spar right here, all the way down. And it's, I mean, it's super strong. I can't, I mean, it's, I can't break it. The plane weighs 10 pounds, so, you know, it's definitely not uh, gonna break this bar. That's definitely not a concern. So with a couple of those questions answered, let's take this thing up and get some more flight video for you guys. Nice. <laughs> Dang. Right. Look nice and stable in the air. Drift it off good. Alright guys, I think flew awesome. Great day out here to fly. If you guys want to build one of these, you guys can build one all by yourself. If you just download the STL files, the link is right in the description below. And then I have a full build video. I'll also throw a link up for that also. You guys can watch my full build tutorial and build one of these yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next build.